Hi friends, today we're doing Unit 7, Lesson 10, Exploring Space. We're going to start by going over the key vocabulary words that you'll be hearing in today's reading. Our first word is observatory, a place used to observe the sun, moon, stars, and outer space. Our next word is launch, to send a rocket into outer space. Our next term is Hubble telescope, a large telescope that collects information in space. It was carried into space in 1990 and will be put out of service and pulled back into Earth's atmosphere in the near future. Our next word is astronaut, a person who travels into outer space. Then we have manned, carrying and operated by people. Then we have Apollo 11, a rocket ship that took three American astronauts to the moon in 1969. Our next word is gravity, a force that pulls things toward one another. And our last word is attraction, when things are drawn to move closer together. We are now going to move into our reading. Chapter 8, Exploring Space. As you have learned in the last chapters, people have been interested in studying space since ancient times. It was possible to see only some stars and planets with the naked eye. Since they were far, far away, it was impossible to see anything in very much detail. In 1609, an astronomer named Galileo created a telescope that he used to observe the night sky. Galileo's telescope made things appear three times larger. Using his telescope, he discovered four of the many moons that orbit the planet Jupiter. He also observed the planet Saturn and the Milky Way. Since Galileo's time, scientists have created more and more powerful telescopes. Some telescopes are housed in large observatories on Earth. Often these observatories are on top of mountains, far away from any cities or lights. This allows astronomers to clearly see the stars and planets. This is the Hubble telescope that orbits Earth above its atmosphere. Other telescopes are launched into space using rockets. They travel far above Earth and have a better view of the universe than telescopes on Earth. One of these telescopes is the Hubble telescope. It was launched in 1990 by NASA, the American group of scientists who study our space, outer space. The Hubble telescope is still in space today, orbiting Earth. Since its launch, it has been sent back thousands of photos to NASA. Hubble's photos have led to many new discoveries about the universe. For example, using photos from Hubble, science, from Hubble, scientists now think that the universe is about 13 to 14 billion years old. Besides sending telescopes into space, NASA has also launched rocket ships into space. Scientists believed it was too dangerous for humans to ride the first rocket ships into space. They did not know what effects space travel might have on humans. So, NASA first sent apes into space on rocket ships. Why apes, you might ask? Think back to what you learned in a previous reader about animals. Apes are mammals and belong to the same group of animals called primates as humans. By studying the apes, scientists hope to learn how space travel might affect humans. In 1961, NASA sent the first American astronaut into space on a rocket ship. His name was Alan Shepard. He stayed in space for only 15 minutes. After 1961, NASA sent more manned flights into space. These flights orbited Earth but did not stop or land anywhere in space. Then in 1969, the United States sent a rocket ship to the moon. The rocket ship was called Apollo 11. Have you ever tried to throw a ball up in the air? The ball goes up first, then it comes back down. No matter how hard you throw it, it comes back down because of gravity. Gravity is a force of attraction that pulls things toward one another. Earth's gravity pulls the ball back down to Earth. Earth's gravity is a challenge for rocket ships like Apollo 11. In order to fly off into outer space, the rocket ship has to push up with a lot of force. It has to push up with so much force that gravity cannot pull it back down. Apollo 11 fired a lot of strong rockets. It lifted off and went up slowly at first, then it got faster and faster. This is what it looked like seconds after. After just a few seconds more, it shot up out of Earth's atmosphere and into outer space. You may now move on to Unit 7, Lesson 10, Google Form.